Guys and gals, this is Barney, and we're here today with Lori Hess. She's with the Town Money Saver, and what a deal. I mean, she's really helped our business out at Car Country, of course, but I'm going to tune in to Lori here and let her explain how this works. I think it'll be very profitable for all you listeners out there. Lori, welcome. Thanks, Barney. Um, let us know what you got going on here. So the Town Money Saver is an awesome local magazine that mails to 15,000 residents in Harrison, West Harrison, Bright, Hidden Valley, the Fort Scott community, community and all the just small surrounding areas right here in the backyard of Harrison. So we're mailing mid-month every month. Our magazine is really nice. It comes um, free for the recipients to receive. They do not have to subscribe to this magazine. They don't have to go online, sign up. There's no fee to receive it. So it is awesome because it shows up directly to um, homes and businesses, and it's a hyper-local publication. And when I say hyper-local, actually a good friend of mine who has a marketing agency told me this. Um, she said the reason why magazines like this are beneficial is because being hyper-local, they are, we feature truly local businesses. So we're not, um, marketing a lot of like national brands and things like that. These are gonna be restaurants, car dealerships, and small businesses that are in the backyard of all of the people that are receiving this magazine. So it's just a great opportunity for our residents to save money and uh, for other businesses to simply brand as well. So great reach um, because mm -hmm. of the no subscription required. So that's really awesome. Um, and then we have some different features outside of the print as well with digital that we can talk about, you know, in a minute. Well, that's awesome. I mean, I know we've done it a couple times. Matter of fact, I'll show off a little bit here. Uh, we do an insert and do this. And I mean, like she said, 15,000 mailboxes. Uh, you've been working with Mike Bohan for quite a while on this, haven't you? Yeah, so I have been doing marketing in the area for over a decade, helping small businesses here in Harrison, um, Southeast Indiana, Southwest Ohio, Northern Kentucky. And I made a change last year and Mike approached me. Uh, my husband and I actually advertise our business, The Tent Doctor, <laughs> in the magazine. It's small world as we know here. Yes, it is. Um, and Mike had approached me and asked if I wanted to partner with him. And I'll be honest, at first I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about that. But we kind of kept getting to know one another, one another as he would come in and we talked. And I just found that we really have the same ideals and values uh, for the way that we want to help businesses grow. We have a passion for small business. We love working with the smaller guys. He has a career history of working with very large companies and corporations. So he knew that he wanted to get in with small business and really focus on that. And of course, my whole background is small business. Oh yes, I mean, we've worked together uh, several yeah. times over the years in different advertising and it, it works very well. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at coupons. I don't know if they realize the amount of coupons they get that'll be setting, you know, for our business, we use these. The same with a household to save money as well. Oh yeah, so. absolutely. Here, if you're, you know, your salespeople want to have lunch, we have great, we feature, you know, Angelo's, Chandler's, we have the local KFC, Firehouse Subs. So for businesses that may be looking for advertising opportunities, magazines are great because the restaurant coupons and, and entertainment coupons and things like that, that's what keeps this in somebody's house. Oh yes, I definitely see so that. So it's an awesome platform for a business that may not necessarily be running a coupon, um, for example, like an insurance company. They can still promote themselves here and it's going to reach all of these people that may be on the lookout for coupons, but then they're also gonna see these nice branding advertisements as well. So it stays in the house for quite some time. And Mike and I are always coming up with new ideas um, on different things that we're gonna start including as we continue to build it that will help continue to keep the magazine in the household longer. Well, that's awesome. And I, and I know you was telling me some things that you just can even do the cards that go right in the flyers that even for a business that may be a little fur out Mm -hmm. can go, hey, Lori, we want to advertise our business in Harrison because we think you got a need for it. Yep. You can actually design mailer pieces to send straight to them, even if it's somewhere away from here to try to attract. Yeah, so to touch on that, I'll start first here with our inserts. This is our absolute best value for a direct mail piece because 
it slides into the magazine. So when somebody receives the magazine, these nice full color, double-sided 10.7 by 5 by 11 inch um, flyers are going to be in here. In addition to that, we also have solo postcards of all kinds of different sizes. And what we can do with these is if we have a client that perhaps um, is headquartered in our area. So I'm going to use F&M Mathco as an example. Okay. Their headquarters is right down the street here in Harrison, but they do have satellite offices around the country and all of those offices employ people. So if they're looking for help in the recruitment aspect, we could send out different postcards to anywhere in the country that they want to mail that to, but they still work directly with Mike or myself. So we're still able to build a relationship, which is key for yeah. what we do. And we can help them and they only still deal with the same person. So they're not having to find places in those areas that are sending out things like this. And when we build all of that into a campaign, it's a much better value for the client. Wow. So you guys can really reach out and touch people that, aren't even in the area, but can help the area grow with business. And yep. wow, what an opportunity. And a lot, uh, of, a lot of my clients I work with specifically want to reach the Florence area or Fairfield. We don't, that's not the magazine we own, but we still place ads in those for them on their behalf. So again, at the end of the day, they're just working with us, but we're helping them grow to where they need to grow based on what their goals are. Because every, as you know, every business has different challenges, different goals, <laughs> and and they it, that's what it makes everything so unique and custom for each business. Well, like I said, I know you've done well for us and we, we're gonna continue this, uh, but the coupons, I still keep looking back at the coupons and thinking, I wish I lived in the area just so I could get the coupons <laughs> well, just be, so I can save some money in all these restaurants, so on and so forth. And I'm glad that you said that. So we actually have the town money saver. We have an app. So if you just go to your app store on your smartphone or your tablet and you uh, search town money saver, you can download our app. And when you're in the app, it knows where you're at, like every app in the world does. It knows where you're at and every available coupon in that area will pop up. So if you're traveling and you're on vacation and you pull it up, if there's a restaurant in that area, you can save that coupon to your digital wallet. If you don't receive the magazine here locally, because maybe you're just right outside of our mailing limits, um, you can still download the app for, say, the coupons for Valle Escondido, and you just take it to the restaurant and you show them your digital the coupon. coupon and you redeem it, and, and you can do it that way. Um, we also have an email newsletter that you can sign up for. It's literally once a month, it doesn't bombard, but when our new issues hit around mid month, it sends out an email that has all of the coupons. You can print those off from home and use them that way as well. Wow, so you can reach out and touch people really almost no matter what. Yeah. What a way to advertise. And like I said, I can see the value. They've helped us out tremendously. Yeah, um, and we're, that's what, you know, um, at print, we have to continue to grow with the times with print. So that's why we have the app. We have the email, we have the website, we have everything. All of our clients are automatically included in that. And then also for um, the majority of our ads, we're using QR codes. Um, we even have a how to use a QR code um, direction sheet in here because I've learned that some of our demographic may not be savvy with QR codes. So we put in a step-by-step, -step, here's how you scan a QR code because we want to do everything we can to make sure that we're driving people to our clients' websites, to their restaurant menus, to wherever that QR code is taking them. Wow, so you've got everything lined up. So it, it, it makes your print clickable, which is what I love. Well, that's awesome. Uh, looks like you guys have definitely got the advertising covered without a doubt. Uh, Guys and gals, this is Barney from Highlight Harrison. I would say you definitely need to look into this one way or the other without a doubt. It's definitely profitable for advertising. You can save money with the coupons. And I promise you, you work with Lori and Mike once, you will go back and work with them again. Yeah, thanks so much for having us for the great interview. Um, if anybody has any questions, they can reach out through the chamber and I'll be in touch. Perfect. Thanks, Barney. Thank you, Lori.